Coach, the last time we saw you guys, you guys defeated Mercy Harrison the first ever sweep against them. Take us back a few weeks ago and talk about those games and your thoughts on how your team played. Well, we were obviously really happy. Anytime you, you get two wins over the weekend, regardless of who you're playing, it's, uh, it's a good confidence builder and it's just a good display of, hey, things are moving in the right direction. Uh, we liked the way we played. Uh, we did some things real well in terms of our systems. Uh, we were able to capitalize on a couple PPs, which was great, and then uh, our PKs were, were excellent over the course of the weekend too. So uh, overall, yeah, we feel real good uh, about the past weekend. Uh, the interesting thing is though, it is the past. Uh, it's before the Christmas break. We've had a long time uh, from then until now. So this second season here starting up, the second half uh, when we return, it's always huge because everybody Regardless of what you did the first half, everybody kind of starts at ground zero again. And you really, uh, if you didn't have a great first half, it's a, it's a time to start uh, new with a fresh slate. And if you had a really good first half, well, you've really got to back it up again and, and keep doing what you were doing. Can you expand a little bit on your power play? The four of the five goals you guys scored on that weekend came on the power play. What did you guys do differently to take advantage of those opportunities? Uh, you know, with the, with the PPs, they're always interesting. Um, sometimes you're doing all the right things and, uh, you know, you're just having trouble scoring or you're finding that finish, whatever it may be. Uh, I think, you know, when you look back at it, you watch some of the clips, some of the goals. We did some real nice things. We got pucks to the net and I think we just played with a little extra urgency uh, to get those pucks and anticipate some of those rebounds. So did a lot of the same things we've been doing all year long, but, um, hey, uh, you know, sometimes you get a little bit lucky, but uh, I like to think we, we worked through uh, some of our stuff and we created some of our own luck and then we had some real nice plays for some good finish. So nothing extraordinarily new. Uh, I think just a lot of hard work and sticking with the plan. As you said earlier, you guys have had quite a long time off with Christmas break and the new year coming up. What do you guys have to do to maintain that momentum that you had coming off of those games? I, you got to realize what makes you successful. And, and that's, that's as easy as as I could probably explain it. Uh, if you start getting ahead of yourself or you forget, hey, these are the things that, that really make us successful, that's where things can go wrong. Uh, we've got to be a hard working team. We've got to be a good systems team. We've got to do all the little things, you know, from blocking shots to getting pucks deep to finishing a shift. All those things, they, they're, the, they're the small things that add up uh, to give us the big wins when we need them. So I think if our players stay focused with that, they make great decisions on and off the ice, uh, I think we're going to put ourselves in the best position uh, to accomplish the goals we want to accomplish over the weekend. And lastly, coming up this weekend, you have league play against RIT for the first time since they joined the Division One action. Talk about what we can expect to see from them. Well, I expect two phenomenal games. Uh, they've been playing some great hockey. Uh, obviously last year coming off of the national championship uh, at the Division Three level, uh, they've had no glitches stepping into uh, and, and stepping up to the Division One level. Uh, they've had some great opponents over the past couple months from North Dakota to Ohio State to some of our league members. Uh, some great games, everything's been tight. They're making the adjustment absolutely fine from Division Three to Division One, and they're proven to a lot of people, whether it's Brown, they swept Brown out in Boston, regardless of their opponents. They're stepping up and showing that this is what they uh, want to do, and they've got a great tradition there, and I think they want to keep that going. Um, and hey, I would expect nothing uh, but a great series of hockey this coming weekend. Great, thanks coach. Thank you.